These are the user settings. If you don't know how to get here, please see the first video in the series um, to open the app and uh, log on to the remote settings and access this page. Well, let's take a look at uh, peak shaving mode. Um, now this mode is used just after you get up in the morning and you've got a bit too much stubble and you need to get the razor out. It's all to do with shaving. Uh, no, no, it's not. No, no, it isn't. It's designed to power loads at peak times and store up energy at off peak times. Um, so I'll give you a brief overview. Now, if we just look at the app, you, you won't find any peak shaving settings until you change to the peak shaving work mode. So if we go into settings here and you should know all the, co the codes by now and I press OK. In the list here, you've got self use, feed in, backup, but there's no peak shaving and those settings are not there until you enable the work mode. So if I go into the work mode here and um, choose peak shaving from the list and click save. Now, if I go into settings and type the code, you can see that um, peak shaving mode has appeared. And if I expand the peak shaving mode, um, you'll also see that there are lots of settings for peak shaving. Um, the battery does not discharge at all at off peak times, it either charges from the grid or charges from solar. For peak times, you can set a load limit and depending on this limit, the following will occur. If the house load exceeds the limit, the PV and the battery will power the house. If the house load does not exceed the limit, the PV will charge the battery first and then power the house load. So as you can see here, you can have uh, two periods per day. You have a saving start time for period one and an end time for period one. And the uh, peak limits is the load limit above which the PV and battery will power the house. And then again, you can have another shaving start time for a different period. Uh, this one's set to seven o'clock in the evening and ending at 11 o'clock in the evening. And again, the um, peak limits two is the load limit above which the PV and the battery will power the house. Um, you can keep scrolling, there are more settings. So charge from grid is enabled or disabled just for the peak shaving mode and that works in the same way as it does for self-use mode. And then the reserved state of charge for the battery is the minimum battery percentage to discharge to. So a use case scenario for peak shaving, for example, if your energy supplier was to charge you a certain amount for up to a certain power draw. So for example, up to five kilowatts, um, they charged a certain amount, then anything that you used above five kilowatts, they would charge a higher amount. So you can set the peak limits wattage here to five kilowatts and anything below five kilowatts will come from the grid and anything above five kilowatts will come from the PV or the battery. And uh, essentially what it does is it shaves off the peaks where you'll be charged more um, anything above the load limit in your usage. And be careful not to get confused between uh, kilowatt hours and kilowatts. Um, kilowatts is the amount of power it's a measurement of power which is being used right now and kilowatt hours is the amount of power used or measured over a period of time. Um, it's also used for the storage capacity of batteries. So the uh, peak limit is in watts. It is the amount of power which is being used right now. Um, so the threshold is set so that any extra power draw over and above that is taken from the battery or from solar. This is Solax's example of um, a diagram for peak shaving. Um, now these are the default times that are set up in your settings. So you can see from um, 11 o'clock till seven o'clock is off peak and then seven o'clock until um, three o'clock is peak and three o'clock till seven o'clock is off peak and then seven o'clock till 11 o'clock again is peak. Um, so the idea is in an off peak period, um, energy is stored up in the battery and um, ready for the peak period. Now, when your usage, uh, your power usage becomes higher than a threshold set by the energy company and they start to charge more money, the battery and the solar then take over running the house load. And essentially it shaves the peak off at the limit that you set. And we get to B and it becomes an off peak period again where energy is again then stored up in the battery and 
at seven o'clock becomes a peak period again and the, the peak is shaved off because again it goes over the limit that the and the uh, energy company would charge more money if you went over that power draw limit so by all means try it um, a little bit of a complicated setup but um go for it let me know how it goes thank you very much for watching see you on the next video